about electability. Uh, do you have any, sir? There is always the question as to whether or not you are in fact viable. Your differences with the Republicans on the, uh, the with the rest of the Republicans on this stage has raised questions about whether or not you can actually win the general the Republican nomination, sir. Well, we've only had two little primaries so far, so it's pretty premature to decide which one is going to be the Dick candidate. But, you know, when, when you think about it, if you measured everything I've ever said, every vote I've ever taken against the Constitution, you know, I'm a strict constitutionalist. Are you suggesting the Republicans should write me off because I'm a strict constitutionalist? I'm the most conservative member here. I have voted, you know, against more spending and wasting government than anybody else. So you're suggesting that I'm not electable and the Republicans don't want me because I'm a strict fiscal conservative? Because I believe in civil liberties? Why should we not be, be defending civil liberties? And why should we not be de talking about foreign policy that used to be the part of the Republican Party? Mr. Republican Robert Taft didn't even want us to be in NATO. And you're saying now that we have to continue to borrow money from China to finance this empire that we can't afford? I, let me see if I get this right. We, we need to borrow $10 billion from China, and then we give it to Mashara, who's a military dictator who overthrew an elected government, and then we go to war, we lose all these lives promoting democracy in Iraq. I mean, what's going on here? And you're saying, and you're saying that this isn't appealing to Republicans? Where did, where did this come about? I think the re this is a Republican message. I defend the platform. It used to say we got to rid of the Department of Education. It doesn't say that. Now, we as Republicans went and doubled the size of the Department of Education. So where, where have we gone? I think we've lost our way. But then the insinuation that I am less Republican because of that? Congressman, thank you very much. We have to take one more break. We'll be right back with one of the most contentious issues of the day. Stay tuned. Congressman Paul, your position on the war is pretty simple. Get out. What about, though, the trying to minimize the bloodbath that would un certainly occur if we pull out in a hurry? What about protecting the thousands of Iraqis who have staked their lives in backing the U.S.? And would you lead troops in the region to take out any al-Qaeda camps that are developed after we leave? The people who say there will be a bloodbath are the ones who said it would be a cakewalk, it would be a slam dunk, and that it would be paid for by oil. Why believe them? They've been wrong on everything they've said. So why not ask the people, why not ask the people who advise not to go in, into the region and into the war? The war has not gone well one bit. Yes, I would leave, uh, I would leave completely. Why leave the troops in the region? It was the fact that we had troops in Saudi Arabia was the re one of the three reasons given for the attack on 9-11. So why leave them in the region? They don't want our troops on the Arabian Peninsula. We have no need for our national security to have troops on the Arabian Peninsula. And going into Iraq and Afghanistan and threatening Iran is the worst thing we can do for our national security. I am less safe. The American people are less safe for this. It's the policy that is wrong. Tactical movements and shifting troops around and taking in 30 more and reducing by five, totally irrelevant. We need a new foreign policy that said we ought to mind our own business, bring our troops home, defend this country, defend our borders. So, so if... So, Congressman Paul, and I'd like you to take 30 seconds to answer this, you're basically saying that we should take our marching orders from Al-Qaeda if they want us off the Arabian Peninsula, we should leave? No! I'm saying we should take our marching orders from our Constitution. We should not go to war. We should not go to war without a declaration. We should not go to war when it's an aggressive war. This is an aggressive invasion. We've committed the invasion of this war, and it's illegal under international law. That's where I take my marching orders, not from any enemy. I do not believe that there's ever a need to sacrifice any portion of our liberty to be safe and secure. We do not have to sacrifice one ounce of liberty. Let's vote.
for liberty. We'll do it, and we'll all be all right. Freedom is popular. It is a revolution for us to return to what has made America great and is for standing up for liberty and believing it, understanding that it truly does work.